I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test problem from Advanced Functions Unit 5. Let us look into this problem in greater details. I have this problem here in a short form. It says write characteristics and graph f of x equals to x squared divided by x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. Consider 0, 0 and 1.59 minus 0 0.89 as local optimal values state the interval of increase and decrease now this is a very interesting question and I like your full attention to solve this kind of problem it may take about 10 minutes in the test to solve it now to graph this function let us analyze the denominator which is x cubed minus 2x square minus 5x plus 6 so let's factor this let's call it a polynomial p of x as equals to x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 6. We'll try to factor it. To factor, we can try numbers which are factors of 6, like plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6. So let's see what is the value of p of 1. So if I substitute 1 here, I get 1 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6, and that is 1 minus 2. 1 and 6 is 7, that is minus 7, it gives me 0. So 1 is a factor. So you can do long division and then find the other factors. I will do synthetic division this time and find the other factors. So we are going to divide by 1, correct? And we have coefficients as 1, minus 2, minus 5, and plus 6. So bringing down 1, multiply by 1, we get 1. Adding them together, we get minus 1. Multiply, minus 1. Adding them, minus 6. Multiply, 6, 0. Right? So we get, as expected, 0 remainder. But that gives us a quadratic function here, which is x squared minus x minus 6. Now this can be factored. And this could be written as x, because this is negative is more, x minus 3 times x plus 2, correct? So that is x squared minus x minus 6. So in a way, we can now factor p of x as we have these two factors from here. x is also a factor. So let me write this as x minus 1, correct? So we have these three factors, which when multiplied will give us p of x, which is the denominator. So we can write our function f of x as equal to x square divided by x minus 1 x minus 3 times x plus 2. So that becomes our function in factored form. Correct? Now it's easier to sketch with these things. Correct? Now as you see here, denominator degree is 3, numerator degree is 2. That means we have a horizontal asymptote. So let me use another ring. So we have horizontal asymptote and the equation of horizontal asymptote should be y equals to 0. Now from the factored form, we have vertical asymptotes and these vertical asymptotes are at x equals to 1, x equals to 3 and x equals to minus 2. Okay. Now if x is 0, what is f of 0? f of 0 is equals to, if x is 0, 0 over 6 which is 0 right so origin is both x intercept and y intercept we are also given that optimal maximum and minimum are these points so these are the turning points which we will consider while graphing correct now let us graph this function to write down all the characteristics so what i will do here is i'll use this space to graph Now, our zeros are at, denominator zeros are at 1, 3, and minus 2. That means these are the vertical asymptotes for us, correct? So, so, so these vertical asymptotes are at 1, 3, and minus 2. So, let us say this is the vertical asymptote at 1. Then this would be 2 for us, and then we have a vertical asymptote at 3. and a vertical asymptote at minus 2. 
correct then our horizontal asymptote is the x-axis itself plus we know that the graph will go through the point origin 0 0 correct this is known to us now to sketch the graph what we can do is we can take a large value of x and see whether we are approaching negative and positive infinity from above or below right so if I have excess large number let's say negative thousand negative thousand since it's a square will make it positive but this will make it negative so we are approaching zero from the negative side so that's the end behavior right so what I'm trying to say here is that as x approaches negative infinity y approaches 0 but from the negative side perfect now if x approaches positive infinity that is plug in thousand in your calculator and check a value it will be close to 0 but whether it is positive or negative it is going to be positive right so y approaches 0 but from the positive side that means let me just extend this part kind of like this okay so that's the first part now we will see the behavior near each vertical asymptote. So this vertical asymptote is at minus 2, right? So here, let me write minus 2 here for the time being. This is at 1 and this one is at 3. So if I substitute a value which is negative for negative of minus 2 in this factored form, let's say if you use factored form, be kind of easier for you. So we are trying to understand behavior near the vertical asymptote at minus 2. What you can also do is take a test point. Let us say minus 3, right? So if you plug in not if you plug in minus 3 here, then numerator is positive. Minus 3 will give me negative, negative, and negative. Three negatives will give us negative. That means we are approaching this side from in the negative side, correct? Similarly, if you have a value which is more than 3, then positive, 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 and positive. So we are approaching this side from positive, right? So we are done with these two ends. But if I substitute a value which is kind of minus 1.9, so we are testing a point close to this place, then numerator is positive, minus 1.9, will give me negative and negative but this is going to be positive so we are approaching this vertical asymptote from this side you get my point right now let's analyze one so at this point if i substitute a value which is 0.9 for example substitute the value 0.9 if i substitute 0.9 then this is negative this is negative but this is positive so two negatives will make it positive so it is going to be in this direction since zero is part of our local maximum or minimum we can graph this kind of like this do you see that so that gives you this part of the function now let's analyze the interval between one and three if i substitute more than one let us say 1.1 in this function do we get positive or negative value 1.1 will make this positive this is positive but one negative so it will be downwards from here if i substitute 2.9 less than 3 less than 3 2.9 that means this is positive 2.9 this is positive but that one is negative so it will approach towards the negative side and we are also given that 1.59 minus 0 0.89 so kind of here we have a local maximum so that means we have a graph kind of like this do you see that so let me just make a smooth graph so that is how our graph is going to look where these are the given points this point is given to us as 1.59 minus 0 0.89 right so that is how our graph is going to be now from this graph we can write down the rest of the characteristics especially when the function is positive when the function is negative right so the function is positive that means 
f of x is greater than 0 when we are between 1 and I mean 1 and minus 2 so the interval is from minus 2 to 0 and from 0 to 1 right because at 0 it is 0 and it is also positive when the interval is from 3 to infinity right and the function f of x is less than 0 that means it is negative in the interval from minus infinity to minus 2 this portion and from 1 to 3 and from 1 to 3 and how about increasing and decreasing as you can see it decreases decreases increases increases decreases decreases right so increasing is from it increases from 0 to 1 it increases from 1 to this point which is 1.59 okay that is why this point is given to you it increases from 1 to 1.59 that is all these are the two intervals when it is increasing all other intervals it is decreasing in its domain it is decreasing from minus infinity to minus 2 it is decreasing from minus 2 to 0 it is decreasing from 1.59 to 3 and from 3 to infinity so all those intervals it is decreasing right so these are the characteristics which you can explain about the given function I like you to watch this video once again understand how we have drawn all this so critical things to draw here are horizontal vertical asymptotes the given optimal points and testing the behavior of the function near its vertical asymptotes and also horizontal asymptote that helps to give us a clear and quite accurate graph for the given rational function I hope that helps thank you